Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so I was looking through my collection and I um, realized I have many decks, okay, that they really fit well together, okay? They're the perfect pair. <laughs> so I'm talking about a tarot deck paired with an oracle. And so I wanted to share with you, because I have a big collection and I wanted to share with you, you know, the perfect pairs in my collection here that I have right now. Um, and these are just decks. I try to pair the tarot with an oracle. Um, but yeah, I want to pair these decks and show them to you based on, you know, decks that I feel that they have the same vibe, um, same art style, or they read similarly for me. Um, decks that just fit together perfectly, in my opinion, okay? Based on my collection, based on my opinion, so um, take this with a grain of salt. Share with me in the comments if you feel like uh, there's a better pair out there. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to share it with you. I thought it'd be a fun video. I'm not sure if someone has already done this in a tag or whatnot, so if you know about that, let me know in the comments and I'll add it to the description. So, I have quite a bit of decks here. <laughs> let me show you. Alright, so let's start here with my first perfect pair in my collection. And like I said, I'm trying to pair a tarot with an oracle deck, okay? And uh, so I'm going to start with a very <laughs> well-liked tarot deck, the Lightseer's deck. Um... So yeah, I feel like this deck, okay, aesthetically, and you might disagree with me, but <laughs> I feel like these two decks go so well together. This is my, one of my favorites, um, Oracle, Angels, and Ancestors. And uh, even like the box, they kind of fit, right? <laughs> I feel like they have a very similar vibe to one another um, in the art style and uh, in the message as well. They're both very like positive decks, spiritual decks, I would say. So here is the back. I also could pair this, uh, the light series with the Moonology. I feel like they would go really well. So these two. And here is the art style. I feel like the art style goes really well with one another. Let me see if I can show you better. So yeah, I feel like, I don't know, they just fit for me, you know? The Light Series is not a deck that I use that much. I mean, I only bought it because it was like half off on Amazon and everybody has this deck. And so I thought, why not? I need it in my collection, you know, even though I didn't feel... It's a beautiful deck, don't get me wrong. For some reason, I didn't feel that drawn to it to actually read with it. And since I got it, I read with it maybe a couple times, but it's definitely not my go-to. I feel like these two kind of look similar, <laughs> you know? And so, yeah, I think, like, these two decks, they go so well together and they read really, really well. They have a similar vibe. <laughs> I don't know, that's just me. But, yeah, so the Light Seers and the Angels of Ancestors is my first perfect pair. But I feel like this deck would go well with so many oracles. Let me know in the comments, which one do you feel the Light Seers is, like, a perfect pair with an oracle? Let me know, I'm curious. So that was my first perfect pair. Moving on to, let's go to the plant decks. Moving on, we have the Herbs Crafter Tarot. And I'm pairing it with the Green Man Oracle, okay? I'm not sure if this is still in print or not. I don't think so. But I feel like these two decks, they're perfect for one another, okay? They're both plant decks. Um, this one is obviously a tree deck. And this one is a plant deck, and they go so well together. The vibe. <laughs> it's all in the vibe. So, here are the backs. You know, they fit together, the backs. And then, we have the actual trees. I love this deck. I love both these decks. And uh, the Herbs Crafter, you know, it's all plants and decks. There's no humans in these decks. And oh, look how beautiful they are, they are together. This is a powerful mix, you guys. <laughs> For me, anyways. Look at how cute this is. The Fool with the Dandelions. I don't know why I'm shaking so much. <laughs> here we go. We only see hands in here. There's no humans. Just human hands <laughs> in some cards. So, yeah. They're very similar vibes and um, they complement each other so well. I love reading with both of these together. This deck is so deep. Well, both of ours 
both of these decks are so deep in my opinion. So yeah, that's my plant combo. Oh, I actually have another plant combo <laughs> that go perfectly well together. I guess I can show you that next. So that was the Herbs Crafter. I'm not crazy about this box because the cards, they always fly back like under here, but whatever. This was printed in 2003. You guys are curious. And I'm not uh, doing this video to do like a super like good review on these decks <laughs> or like a awesome flip through or whatever. This is just like, I just want to share decks that I feel go well together, you know? So I'm going to go quick or try to go quick because I have a lot of decks. So yeah, that's that. And then for my other plant tree thing, <laughs> tree decks, these decks here, we have the Tower of Trees. These are some of my newer decks. I love this deck, the Tower of Trees. I love plants, I love trees, and this is one of my favorites, okay? It's the tiny deck, I love it. And uh, this is from Etsy, from the uh, creator's shop here. From the creator's shop, this is uh, on her Etsy. And I saw this deck, the her oracle. I didn't even know she made an oracle deck. And the box is soft, <laughs> which is nice. And so when I got the Tower of Trees, I was like, why not get the oracle that goes with it, you know? But the truth is, is that I don't use this one. <laughs> it was an impulse buy, but they're beautiful, okay? Here are the backs. I mean, how freaking cute is that, you know? The cards here are a little soft. They're beautiful cards, don't get me wrong. It's just the Oracle I don't really use, but they go perfectly well together. So here is the Tower of Trees and the Spirit Plant Oracle. So there's three keywords there. They go so good together. Like that. Obviously, it's from the same artist, so the art style is a little similar. I definitely prefer this one. This one is like, oh, I love this uh, Tower of Trees. I really do. But they're both plant-based. You know, I love this elk. I just need to work a little more with it. But yeah, they go so good together. This card freaks me out a little. <laughs> So these are definitely a perfect pair, they just mm, go so well together. I love how this one is so tiny. This is one of my favorite cards, so beautiful. Like that. You know what, this deck would also go really well with um, Herbs Crafter, this one right here, the Herbs Crafter. The Dandelion <laughs> is why I said that. So yeah. This is the Tarot of Trees and the uh, Spirit Plant Oracle. I really love this deck. <laughs> Regeneration. Okay, moving on. Let's go to the Angel decks next. So angel decks, I love angel decks, and this one, this oracle, has been one of my favorites. It's been, it's my second oracle deck ever. My first one was the Angels and Ancestors, so I feel really connected to this deck, and I never had a, a tarot to go with it until I saw this deck right here. Guardian Angel Tarot by uh, Radley Valentine. Yeah. So these two decks, in my opinion, they're perfect pair. They go so well together. It's the tower, angel tower I've been looking for, you know. So here are the backs. They kind of fit. Um, I don't like the cardstock on this one though. It's very cheap. But hey. So the artwork is very similar to me. The colors are similar, and um, this deck really complements this oracle deck here. It uh, solidifies my reading. It can clarify and be very like more specific about whatever this message is. But this deck right here, the Oracle one, guys, like, oh, I freaking love it. I would never get rid of it. This is like, when I feel sad, lost, and confused, I go for this deck, and the message is always just picks me up, you know? It comforts me, it's my comfort deck. And this one is also a comfort deck. I love the humans in here. Like, it's very angelic, but realistic at the same time. I love the art on here, I really, really do. And I like that this is a tarot, but it's an Oracle size, you know? 
And there's three keywords at the bottom. It's really good for beginners. But yeah, I pair these together and they're beautiful. They really are. Beautiful. So yeah, that gave you an idea, but uh, for me, they pair so well together. And this one is like, I want to pull a card. <laughs> It says, I am leading you toward the answer of your prayers. Please listen to and follow the steps I am communicating through your intuition, thoughts, and dreams. That could be a message for you guys out there as well as for me. I love this deck. <laughs> By Doreen Virtue. I'm not crazy about her. I'm not necessarily a fan of hers. But um, I bought this deck and I didn't even know who she was. And uh, I would never get rid of it. So that is for the angel decks. Moving on, let's go a little darker now. A little darker, a little weirder. <laughs> Let's go a little darker. Let's go here. Now, these decks are uh, the Zen Osho Zen Tarot, but I have the French version and the Osho Neo Tarot. <laughs> it says Tarot, but it's definitely an Oracle deck. Um, it's actually Zen Stories. Like, each card is a Zen Story. So, so obviously, these are both, like, Osho um, philosophy things decks so i feel like they go really good together but uh osho is not the actual author of these decks okay so here are the backs this is osho okay that's what he looks like and uh this deck right here this one i don't use that much but i do like once in a while to pull the card and read the story it's like an ethical story a zen story if you guys are familiar with that but this deck right here the zen taro is so freaking deep so deep it's like psychological, this um, addresses the darkness, okay, my shadow side, things like that. Like, this one is really deep. I don't really read for other people with this one. This is a deep, deep deck. And uh, they go really well together. The art goes well together, but also the energy behind it are so similar. This card freaks me out a little. <laughs> wow, look at that. So beautiful. So, yeah. These are perfect pairs, even though I don't really use this one. Keep it in my collection. Um, I don't even know if you can still get this one, this deck. Oh, I love this entire I don't use it that much, but when I'm in that energy, this deck changes me. It really fucking does. <laughs> Spits out the truth in my face where I can't even ignore it anymore, you know? So yeah, these are my Osho decks, my Zen decks, and I love them very much, especially this one, the Zen <laughs> Tarot. So yeah, that's my next perfect pair, and um, let's see what else. Okay, let's go a little darker. So I don't have a box here with me right now, but this is my Zombie Tarot. <laughs> I love this deck so much. I don't use it enough, but um, this is the back. It comes with a bigger box. That's why I don't have it. And this perfect pair goes so well with the, let me show you the box, the Magical Spell Cards, okay? This is a cool deck. And it's they both have like um, dark a dark vibe to it. And these this deck has like different backings on it. I think those are all of them. So the back kind of fits, you know, the light, the dark and the light thing. And then they look like this. They have the same, similar borders, similar art style. Well, not art style, but si similar vibes, you know. And what I like about this one here is that there's a little poem. I love poems. Or a little spell, if you want to call it that. Um, and the vibes, they just match so well. This is a little darker, you know. <laughs> I like to use this when it's dark outside, like uh, near Halloween as well. I love this temperance card. But yeah, they just go well together for me. Anyways, let me know what you think in the comments. <laughs> this is such a quirky little deck. Like, I think this deck is uh, underrated for sure. It's really good. So yeah, the zombie with the spell casting cards. Very cute. Very cute together. They fit so well. 
They have like a little vintage vibe, you know, like little old cards type of vibe. <laughs> I love this. What is this? A page? Yeah, the page of wands. The little baby. So yeah, that is my a little bit of a darker deck. Okay, let's get weird. <laughs> okay. Now I have here the a Rider Waite Smith. Okay. We all know what this looks like, okay? Um, I did cut off the borders, it's not perfect, but I think this is a version, an older version of it. Because uh, it came with the book, and I bought it second hand, it came with the book, and the book says it was printed in 1970, I think. So, yeah. So, okay, so the Rider Waite Smith, okay, I feel like this deck could go with pretty much any Oracle deck. So it's kind of hard to pick, but I'm going to show you two. Two decks that I feel are a perfect pair with my Rider Waite, okay? The first one, <laughs> and I said let's get weird because these decks are a little bit quirky. This is, I don't have the box here with me, but it's the Radiant Sun Oracle, I believe. So here are the backs. The backs don't really fit, but here is the front, okay? <laughs> and the art style is so similar. Like, I feel like it's from the same era. The colors are similar. I'm not really sure what it is, but these two decks fit so good together. <laughs> um, this deck really comes to clarify this oracle for sure. And I love them. I love them together. Love this detached card. So yeah. But the one that I would pair the Rider Waite with in my collection for me personally is Morgan's Tarot. <laughs> And I don't know if you know about this deck, okay? I feel like it's not very well known, but this is definitely more of an oracle because they're just cards with messages on it. It has no tarot system at all, okay? This is a crazy deck. So let me just put this aside. And this is a black and white deck, which is my only black and white deck that I have. Here are the backs. Again, the plaid... I feel like it doesn't really fit with much, many things, but this Morgan Tarot, I use it with uh, the Rider Waite all the time, okay? And again, it really clarifies some things for me, okay? And it's not that the art style is similar, because this deck, I feel, was created in the 1970s and the person was on drugs. <laughs> but this deck just gets me, okay? And I get it. This is the only deck that makes me laugh. Okay, like I could be crying, pulling cards, and it will make me laugh, okay? I just understand its humor. I don't know what it is about it, but this just appeals to my inner alien, okay? <laughs> and the Rider Waite, it brings color to it, it bring, brings clarification to it. Like, what's happening? I don't know. <laughs> and so for me, they're the perfect pair, okay? You can debate with me in the comments, okay? I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine with that. You don't have to agree with any of what I say here. This is just my opinion. But I do love these two decks together. I really, really do. <laughs> oh my god. Tell me. Let me know in the comments if you have this deck and if you love this deck, okay? Because let's be friends, okay? If you enjoy this deck, we're going to be friends and we're going to get get along real well. <laughs> if you get get this deck, you know? you understand its energy <laughs> this is, has to be like one of my quirkiest funniest deepest very um consciousness um driven okay like almost like my zen tarot kind of but like i think i'll make a buddha <laughs> i love it drag dragged i got this card for a while <laughs> oh my god I don't know, this deck has so much humor, I love this deck so much, so, so much. So that was that. Um, let me know in the comments is also, like, your Rider Waite, which is your favorite oracle to pair it with, yeah? Tell me in the comments, I would love to know that. Because this deck, I feel like everybody has, but which one do you think it pairs best with the oracle? Because I feel like it goes well with any oracle, but some better than others. Moving on next, we're going to um, the Celtic Druid type of vibes. Now this is the only Lenormand deck that I paired. But 
that's just because it's from these two decks are from the same artists and the vibes are so similar okay i don't remember if i showed you but the druid craft tarot with the celtic le normand deck um and these are both from the same artist now my druid craft i did trim the borders off and edged it in gold and it's so old this is one of my first decks i've used this so much but here are the backs they go really well together these cards normally are so big that's why i cut off the borders and uh yeah look at that they just go so well together i mean it's the same artist the same vibes this is beautiful these are two decks that i really love working with in the spring or in the summer fun fact i actually put this deck in uh, my decluttering pile actually just because i have like there's so many Le Norma decks that I need or use, so I decided to keep my two other ones, but I had to go back for this one because I love this one so much. I don't even know why, you know, I was going to let it go, this one. That would have been a huge mistake on my part because <laughs> I love it and I really connect with it, so I don't know what I was thinking. But thank God I can change my mind when I want. So yeah, these two decks, they go so well together. You know, and Le Normand predicts like events and things like that. And uh, I like to use this deck here to clarify some stuff to get more precise information and things like that. So that is for the Celtic Druid decks. Perfect pairs. And you can't argue with me that these two are not a perfect pair, okay? <laughs> I mean, you could. Let me know in the comments. <laughs> But yeah, for me, they're perfect together. They really are. I mean, all these decks, to me, are perfect together. But they're not necessarily my favorite decks. But speaking of my favorite decks, Crow Tarot with the Urban Crow Ta Oracle, I mean. These are from uh, the same creator. This one is my uh, US Games version, and this one is on the, whoa, is on the authors, or the creators here, Etsy shop. And I love both these decks. Um, so much I have a little penchant towards my crow tarot though over the oracle, but uh, I'm still getting to know it, you know, so So here are the backs They clearly go really well together and they're the, the same height Obviously the author the creator is the same person, right? So these are definitely a perfect match. Okay, so here we go. I love crows I love my crow deck. I love my crows I just saw crows flying by just now. <laughs> so, yeah. They're, oh my god, we have the devil with the influence card. How crazy is that? I would love to get my hands on the crow tarot um, on the indie ver version. The independently uh, published version. I would love that. But, yeah. I love these crows so much. They're so cute. The thing about the oracle is that the cards are so thin and slippery, you know? So when you shuffle, they kind of bend and they fly out everywhere. I'm not crazy about that, which is why I don't use this one as much as I thought I would. This is one of my favorite cards right here in the tarot deck. But yeah, they're so cute. I love these decks so much. This is literally one of my favorite tarot decks ever. The crow one. So yeah. Those are my little crow crows. Like I like to call them. So one, two, three, four, five, six pairs left. I actually have one that it's a trio. Shall we do that next? Meh. Let's wait. <laughs> okay. Moving on next and perfect pairs. Let's go right here. So, wow, even the box fits together. We have the Millennium Thought Tarot with the Energy Oracle cards. This was one of my first uh, um, tarots as well. My only thought deck. I don't really use it anymore, but I used to love it. And here are the backs. Okay, they're different colors, but they fit together. But what I like is that the inside of this card fits really nicely with the back of the cards. Now, I'm not sure in what kind of reading, <laughs> like, I would have these cards like this. Because I like to, you know, flip them out as I go, but hey. They still go really well together. I feel like the art is kind of the same, like the computerized digital, digital vibes thing. I'm not sure what I'm saying here. <laughs> 
but they look super similar. And they go really well together. Because the Millennium Thought, for me, is more of like a dark deck. Dark, masculine, you know, darker vibes. And so is this Energy Oracle. They're both on the darker side for me personally. When I first got this Oracle deck, I used I loved it. But I haven't used it in so long. But yeah, this deck has a little bit of everything. I love this Judgment card. Or is that the world? I think that's the world. What I don't like in the thought is that um, they don't have kings. They just have princes for the knights and the knights for the kings. There's no kings. I don't like that. It, I'm always confused. <laughs> but you can see how much I've used this deck. I've used the heck out of this deck. I loved it. So yeah, this to me, they are a perfect pair. Looking back through this deck, because I haven't used it in a while, I really want to pull this out for me again. Going like a marathon of flipping cards here. <laughs> okay. We're good. <laughs> We're good. Moving on. Okay, the next one I want to show you, okay, it's actually two Oracle decks. Okay, but that's the only one I really have like that, two Oracle decks, and you're going to understand why. Or maybe you won't, but that doesn't really matter. I'm still going to show them to you. <laughs> Let's see. I'm trying to make space. We have... Okay, this is one of my favorite Oracle decks ever. The Intuitive Life Coaching Oracle deck. And for me, the perfect pair is with my Tea Leaves deck. Okay, I don't have the box because it's huge and I don't like the box, so I keep it in here. And uh, this is what it looks like, the Tea Leaves. There's like 200 cards in here. These are both two of my favorite Oracle decks, okay? Like, they're so good they're different but they're good now this one here looks like this and i'm not sure how i'm gonna explain this okay but for me okay like the images like i'm gonna go go pull pull cards let's say i pull two or three cards i usually pull at least three cards for me okay and i put the images side by side and there's actually like an image or like a story that unfolds from these cards that I see, okay? Like, depending on how the images fit together. And this is a very much an intuitive deck for me. I like that there's like a little phrase at the bottom here, but for me it's really like the visuals, okay? And so sometimes to clarify, I like to use this deck, the tea leaves, because it's a small deck and there's so many, like there's 200, 200 cards I think in that deck. And I just feel like they go so well together. The colors are similar. And this just puts in some... Um, how do I say it? Like some concrete to um, the very abstract images here. And I just feel like they go so well together. I mean... Let me try to show you maybe. So like that. the mountain like they aesthetically go together in my opinion but just like the information that it adds to my reading it's kind of incredible very precise readings with these two and obviously this is a life coaching so it's a very like personal development type of deck and so sometimes to clarify I like to have this so there we go, that's that. You know, we have a career card, we have the months in here as well, so if you want to have a time frame, it's really, really good. I love these two decks. And one more. That's it. One of my favorites, my go-tos. I love this deck so much. Very powerful, the intuitive one. For me, anyways. Okay, let's move this along here. We're almost done. And next, we're gonna go with these two right here. The Akashic, uh, Akashic, I always say Akashic Record. Akashic Tarot with the Life Purpose Oracle Cards by Miss Doreen Virtue. Um, this deck, <laughs> uh, I, I like it. I never use it. I never, never use it. But at the same time, I feel weird giving it, like, getting rid of it. 
every time I declutter my collection, I'm like, yeah, I never used this deck. But then I look through the cards and I'm like, that's so beautiful. Like, why would I want to give it away? And I'm crazy like that. So here we go. These are the backs. I mean, come on, look at the fit. They fit perfectly together and they're the same size. I love tarot decks that are oracle size. But the hay house size, not too big. I don't like that. So here we go. These go really well together because I feel like they have a similar vibe. This is like a Kaushik record type of thing. This is like life purpose. And uh, yeah, I feel like they go good, good together. But again, these are two decks that I don't really use anymore. I have never really used it. This one a little bit. I love this card. This is my favorite card. Second favorite. So we have like angels in both decks, things like that. Let me know, guys. Do you like the Akashic Tarot and the Life Purpose cards? Do you use them? Would you like them? But these two, I feel like they go really well together for readings about past life, pa uh, life purpose, journeys, things like that. But again, I don't use them. I keep them. I hold on to them because I think, oh, like maybe I'll do a pick a card with them one day or maybe I'll be drawn to them. But they're definitely not my go-to cards. But they're beautiful decks. I mean, they really are beautiful. So that's that. So we have one, two, three pairs left, including a trio. Let's do the trio next. You'll understand why it's a trio. Okay, so the trio. Here we go. We have the Starseed Oracle with the Work Your Light. Obviously, these two, they go hand in hand together. And I paired it with the Field of Tarot. I mean, just with the boxes, like, they just freaking vibe together, right? <laughs> they just go so well together. Um, but not only that, is uh, they go together in general. So here, this is the Starseed backing what that looks like. I'm sure everybody knows these decks. They're very popular. I have not used this deck in years. Um, I've used this one a little bit uh, at the beginning of my tarot journey, but this one, I haven't not used it. And then the field tarot, I've never used it. So these are three decks I don't really use, but look how, how cute they are together. Hope you can really see that, but they go so well. They're all pastel-y and like I don't know, cute. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to show them to you, but look, this is what they look like. Like so, I mean, look at that. Look at that. They go really well together, in my opinion. It's like the spiritual side, or this, it's like a softer side, like a softer vibe. Very like up in the stars type of thing, you know? The Field Tower, I've never used it. It's a gorgeous deck. I don't read with it. I like this one though. This, uh, is that the Knight? The Prince of Cups? I like it. I would say I like these decks. That's why I bought them. <laughs> it's just that I don't feel drawn to them or they don't read well for me. For me to actually be like, oh, I'm going to pull these decks out, you know? I have other decks that I prefer a lot more. So that's that. All right, second to last perfect pair. I'm gonna go with the Sacred Traveler. I love this Oracle deck. And I'm pairing it with, again, I don't have the box for this. It's somewhere in my stuff, but this deck lives in my purse. And it is, whoa. The Everyday Tarot. And you're gonna see why they're the perfect pair. <laughs> Look at that. Okay, it's not the same shade of purple, but they really fit well together. And, I mean, look at that. To me, they're the perfect pair. I love this deck. Um, and the Everyday Tarot is one of my favorite tarot decks. It lives in my purse, like I said. It's very clear. And it brings very um, clear messages paired with this deck right here. And obviously they have shades of purple, which I love. 
This one is a lot more simple, but clear and concise, I feel. I love it. I love both these decks. Again, one of my, these are some of my first decks ever. I don't, I haven't used them in a while. Um, but yeah. This Everyday Tarot is the one I use to, um, read for people in my life, you know, in real life. I haven't read for someone in real life in forever, though. It's been a while. <laughs> so, yeah. The Sacred Traveler Oracle. I love this lover card. I love the art on here. I don't know what it is about it. And this is the Everyday Tarot. So, yeah. Perfect pairs. I like tiny decks. I mean, look how small that is. And the last perfect pair in my collection and in my humble opinion, I have the Spirit, what is the Spirit Animal Oracle? I love this deck with the Spirit Song Tarot. <laughs> the boxes fit together, the names fit together, the art fits together. I mean, they're literally perfect pairs. <laughs> Let me show you. Here is the back from the Spirit Animal Oracle. And this is the back from the tarot. They don't really fit together, the backings, but they're both beautiful. But uh, they're both animal decks, right? So obviously that's why I paired them together. And they have like both a whimsical feel to it. I love both these decks. Again, this one right here is like one of my comfort decks. I love it when I feel sad or confused or lost or like, you know, you don't really have energy to read, but you need, you need to understand what the hell is going on. Hey, these cards are similar. <laughs> um, I go for this deck because um, obviously I love the images and uh, there's keywords at the bottom. They're just so easy to read. It's beautiful. You know, I could really get lost in the image here. I get so many messages from just staring at all the details and all the stuff going on here. I love it. So, yeah. Hey, look at that again. They fit together. <laughs> so, yeah. I really do love these decks. It's probably my two favorite animal decks. Yeah, I think so. So, that's that. Let me know in the comments which one was your perfect pair that I just showed you. I'm very curious and let me know if you would change anything, if you agree, if you don't disagree. You can debate with me in the comments, I really don't mind. <laughs> um, but, you know, just keep in mind that, just be respectful, you know, and I respect people's opinions. And uh, I do love debating when it's respectful. We all have different opinions and things like that, so just keep that in mind. But uh, yeah, let me know in, your com in the comments. What did you think? Did you enjoy this? <laughs> Let me know and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!